I've known Miss Taylor since she was nine. Those huge violet eyes were oh so divine. A shy, lovely creature, I became a teacher, knowing full well one day she would chime. I sent her over to Universal, and it ended up to be a rehearsal for roaring MGM's Technicolor artsy gems, which pulled her career out of reversal. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, the damsel with bewitching eyes. In national velvet she rode the pie. A young Mickey Rooney portrayed her friend Mai, whom I had to corral some to protect our young gal from, while the rest of the world fell in love with those eyes. Her first betrothal to a Hilton Nicky lasted but a mere nine months since a quickie, then a cavalcade of suitors might as well have been looters. At that point, our Liz was plainly not picky. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, the starlet with the bloodshot eyes. She married to Michaels, both wilding and Todd. Mike Wilding was troubling, but Todd was a god. When Mike Todd was killed, then a stunned Liz fulfilled her contract as Maggie with a stunning facade. Eddie Fisher, the singer, was Mike Todd's cohort. Mike died, and our luscious Liz, he did come forth. Debbie Reynolds, his spouse, saw Eddie turn loose as he and Liz did come out at Debbie's favorite resort. Of course, I had the poop on the scoop. I had to report, could not let them thwart. Divorce. Court. Gossip is a contact sport. When she returned a phone call, I said to her, This is Hedda. Level with me, because I shall find out anyhow. What's this Eddie Fisher business all about? You're being blamed for taking Eddie away from Debbie. What have you got to say? She said, It's a lot of bull. I don't go about breaking up marriages. Besides, you can't break up a happy marriage. Debbie's and Eddie's never has been. What do you expect me to do? Sleep alone? The story ran front page in the L.A. Times and many more papers that syndicate Harper. The Hearst papers paraphrased my scoop and lifted the quote without giving me as much as a nod by way of credit. One of the first people to read it was Elizabeth. She called the next day, furious saying she was made out to be as cruel and heartless as a black widow spider. I had no regrets. If she'd been my own daughter, I'd have done it. Of course, I didn't think you'd print it, she said. You betrayed me. You didn't say it was off the record, I answered. And it had to be printed. We didn't speak for a year. At the office, the mail arrived in stacks, all in Debbie's favor. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, the trollop with the fiery eyes. She was up for an Oscar four years in a row, an unusually Row she did whole Then for Butterfield 8 Which was a film she did hate She brought home the statue 
and raked in the dough. Cleopatra, the debacle of the decade. First Liz was dying, then resurrected. We had all prayed. Enter married Richard Burton. Outrageous scandal was certain. Who cares? Her 